A somber tribute today to Wen Jen Liu, one of the two police officers killed in Brooklyn. Fellow police officers tried to hold back tears as they remembered a man who lived and died a hero. TV 1055's Weijia Jiang joins us live from Diker Heights, where there was a massive turnout for his wake. Weijia? And Cindy, this wake is going on eight hours now. Even though it was supposed to end at nine, you can see right behind me, there is still a crowd here visiting with relatives to pay respects to a man whose story resonates with so many New Yorkers, a Chinese immigrant whose American dream was shattered so senselessly. Officer Wen Jin Liu was devoted to bridging the gap between the Asian American community and police. Today, they stood together in a sea of thousands at his wake that blended NYPD and Buddhist traditions. Uh, Asian uh, people, they bow three times. They bow three times to show the respect of, uh, of, the, of the officer. And then we go to the uh, receiving line, the, the immediate families, we shake their hands. They are very sad, you know, they have tears in their eyes. Tears flowed outside, too, from fellow cops and strangers. I just can't take it, this woman said in Mandarin about her grief. What's going to happen to his parents, she wondered. Lou supported his mother and father and his wife of two months. My father would have been here today. Governor Andrew Cuomo still mourning Thank his you, father's death says it's a time for the city to heal. We have to stop any fights within the family, and we have to come together as the family of New York and stand strong. And that's a message for all New Yorkers. Including police and Mayor Bill de Blasio, who have clashed in recent weeks. Today, officers saluted him as he arrived to the wake with NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton, who issued a memo to rank and file members this week saying a hero's funeral is about grieving, not grievance. Last week, hundreds of officers turned their backs to the mayor at the funeral for Officer Rafael Ramos, Lou's partner. Both were killed in their police cruiser by a gunman who then killed him. Himself. Lou worked in the 84th precinct. Its members walked into the wake as one to say goodbye to their brother in blue. And Lou's funeral is set for tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. It will include a Chinese ceremony led by Buddhist monks as well as a police one with eulogies led by a chaplain. We're live in Diker Heights, Brooklyn. Weijia Jiang, TV 1055.